I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you sh need to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. In fact, if you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is Facing Facts. And that is because we just had a fabulous new moon at 19 degrees of Capricorn, and there were four planets in the sign of Capricorn, which is the traditional ruler of your 10th house of career or your public standing in the community. And since Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, the planet of time, Capricorn also rules large government organizations or uh, business corporations that uh, want to be in business for a very long time. And so it rules rewards earned over a long period of time, such as pension funds. And so this is a time when we can be quite willing to face facts. And the facts can certainly be about your expenses and your income. And you may be thinking of, of making some career changes and perhaps trying to boost that income column a little bit better in order to meet higher expenses, which is quite possible. So the sun, the new moon, Pluto, and Mercury were all in Capricorn, and Mercury is now retrograde. And when Mercury goes retrograde, it's always a good time to go back and check facts and sort of finish things up rather than start something new. Those four planets in Capricorn are all trining Jupiter in Virgo. Virgo does rule facts, and Jupiter, too, is retrograde. So Virgo rules not only facts, but it rules details and it rules analysis. Virgos are very good problem solvers. And Virgo rules the traditional sixth house of employment. And so that's why you could have your mind on your career as well. And Virgo also rules uh, occupations that give service to others, such as nurses or teachers or public servants of one sort or another. And it rules banking and accounting and accountability and it rules not only your physical health but your mental health and the whole central nervous system and it rules the health care field so this is a time with these five wonderful planets all trining each other under the new moon in capricorn when a lot of people may be wanting to face facts either about their health or it can be about their bank book or their career or about their expenses since all five planets tr also trine the sign of Taurus, which is the traditional ruler of the second house of how you make your money and what you spend your money on, Taurus rules investments. And so this can be a time when all of us can be looking a little bit more closely at our investments, not just our long-term security retirement investments or pension plans, but also the kind of investments that grow in value. And this may be a time when you're examining your investments when you might want to sell something in order to reduce those expenses. And that could be a good idea. And so this is a time since there are the four powerful planets that's called a stellum in just one sign, Capricorn, when I think that a power play can be made very successfully by management that is high up in a government agency or even in a country or in a large corporation. And the kind of um, decision that could be made may have a lot to do with the bottom line. And for that reason, since we are all going to be uh, facing facts right now, it can be that some management decisions can be based on the idea of downsizing or consolidation or mergers of one sort or another or for certain they would want to um, reduce their expenses by uh, avoiding duplicity in other words if there's two people and they're both doing the same job and there isn't enough money coming in maybe they don't need one of those people and so this is simply a time when uh, there could be layoffs <coughs> excuse me and so we have to be aware of that. And that's another good reason to be watching your expenses right now. It's far better not to spend money until you are really sure of your career position or you are really sure of how much income you have coming in. 
And the reason why a power play now can be successful, <clears throat> excuse me, is because it's backed by the courts. And the reason why that is going on now is because the four planets in Capricorn are being backed by two others in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius does rule the whole judicial system. And Venus and Saturn are both closely conjuncting each other in Sagittarius. And they're trining Uranus and Aries. So the love planets are trining each other, which is good. But there can be some firm but loving resolve to uphold the long-term plans or goals of large corporations or government agencies in order to ensure stability and security for everybody. And so there's a good reason, even if there is some downsizing right now, there's a good reason to try to keep these organizations strong in the long run so that they can benefit everyone. <clears throat> However, there is one little problem. And the problem is that there is a wild card right now. And the wild card is the fact that Uranus, that planet of sudden change and rebellion and freedom, is in uh, Aries and it is being squared by all four of the planets in Capricorn. And that simply means since Aries is an impulsive fire sign and Uranus is a planet of sudden change and rebellion and freedom, and it, it, Aries certainly does rule the pioneer or the person that wants to do things all their own way. It simply means that anybody that has been wanting to do things all their own way is going to get stopped cold right now by uh, people who are not taking an individual's preferences into consideration, but instead they're thinking of the whole organization, not just one or two people in it. And for that reason, anyone who has been wanting to get their own way probably is going to get checked on that a little bit or is going to have to face some sort of transformation or change. And that is why there could be a wild card. Another reason why there is some sort of instability going on is because Mars, that planet of war and aggression, has moved into Scorpio, the sign that it rules, and Scorpio is a fixed financial sign. And so what we see is that there can be some instability in the financial markets, particularly regarding the things that Scorpio rules, such as credit or debt or taxes. And that is why we really do need to face facts right now as we start the new year. And it is a little bit better if you can sort of shave or cut down some of your expenses and sort of pull in your belt a little bit until we get over a period of instability. And that probably won't be until very late in the spring or early summer. So this is not a good time to take risks, but it is a better time for you just to really look over your career and your income and your investments and your health to make sure they're all affordable right now. And if they are a little bit too high priced, maybe you can cut costs in some other area. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? <clears throat> well, Aries, for you, I think it's you that can be thrown off a little bit by some sort of um, very important uh, dictate from a person in management or from a government organization or from something that is totally beyond your control but that you really do have to pay attention to because those four planets in Capricorn all square your sun where you have Uranus. And remember I said Uranus is being trined by Venus and Saturn in Sagittarius, which means that matters at a distance can be uh, involving somebody that you haven't seen in a while who can be coming to see you, or perhaps you could be traveling to see them. And there could be some sort of serious uh, reason behind that as well. But it could all work out rather well for you, Aries. At the same time, though, the stellum of planets in Capricorn are overwhelmingly successful right now. And, so, and that's because they're so well fortified by Jupiter in Virgo. And so I think, Aries, that you may uh, be surprised by some sort of change which could involve downsizing or merging or consolidation of some sort uh, right now. And that would be due to matters beyond your control. So I mean, don't feel bad about anything, Aries. 
you just have to understand that uh, business is business and people are looking at the bottom line. And it is, for, it is in order to ensure that vital programs stay in place, even at a reduced level, for the long term. So you have to sort of take a long view about whatever is coming up. All right, what does it mean to a Taurus? <clears throat> well, Taurus, you could be sitting real pretty right now. And the reason why is that the four planets in Capricorn under the new moon were all trining your sun, and Jupiter in Virgo is also trining your sun. That is five planets that are all in very harmonious aspect to your sign. And your sign does rule investments. So this is a very good time for you to be facing facts. One of the things that you might be pleased about is that there can be uh, some good news about a pension plan or a long-term retirement plan that could be uh, to your benefit, which is great. Or there is the possibility of a promotion right now, or somebody can be redefining your job description in, in a very positive way, which would be good for you, Taurus. This is a time, though, when you really do need to look at your investments, because if they go up in value, the taxes on them could go up in value as well. And Mars in Scorpio is opposing your sun sign, Taurus. And Mars is at home in the sign it rules, so it is very dominant right now. And for that reason, I think that you should be trying to look at your investments. And if they have become profitable, and therefore the value of them has gone up, it might be that your taxes have gone up or the cost of a loan could be going up as a credit gets a little bit tighter and tighter. And for that reason, you might think about selling something, Taurus, just in order to pay off some of your expenses and so that your profit doesn't diminish by higher taxes or higher credit right now. So you could think that over as well. But I think you're sitting pretty as the year begins. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, unfortunately, the problem is, is that there can be nobody listening to you right now. And so you could feel a little bit lost because there's no audience around. And your sign does rule conversation and communication and change. And the reason why I think you need to be a little bit careful and very patient right now, Gemini, is because Virgo in, uh, Jupiter in Virgo is squaring your sun which means that there are a lot of facts that you might have skipped over that you do know need to go back and double check just to make sure they are correct. Because remember I said that when Mercury is retrograde, which it is now, we do have to double check things because there can be communication mix-ups. And Mercury is your ruler as well as Virgo's ruler. So you have to be careful about everything. And then Neptune in Pisces is squaring your sun, which means there can be people that are telling you only what you want to hear. They may not even know the whole truth. And so they're sort of inventing things right now. And so that's another reason to double check facts. So you do need to slow down, Gemini. And then the big one is that Venus and Saturn, which are closely conjuncting each other today, are opposing your sun sign. And that simply means since Saturn is a planet of delay, that you are going to have to get used to delay while it is, remains in Sagittarius, which will be for two more years. And so just slow down, Gemini, backtrack a little bit, try to finish things off. And if people are not exactly listening to you right now, that might be all right, because you, you need to check your facts before you can be really sure of how to proceed later on in the spring. OK, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, <clears throat> this is a time when I think that uh, an odd thing can be happening. Under the f uh, new moon in Capricorn, there were four planets in Capricorn all opposing your sun sign. That is just too many. <laughs> it's overwhelming. And for that reason, some decisions or a power play that is made by management in a large corporation or a government agency is going to be successful. And they are not going to be taking your feelings into consideration at all. What they're going to be doing is making decisions sort of based on that bottom line, or they're going to be facing facts, but they're just going to be um, about costs or expenses or income or whatever. And so <clears throat> there may be a wild card somewhere in your life coming up, some sort of a surprising announcement because Uranus in Aries is also squaring your sun. So there's five planets in harsh aspect to your sun sign right now, Cancer. And that means you may be surprised by some sort of 
change that is coming up that you were not anticipating at all, or somebody that you know could be going through some sort of unexpected change. At the same time, Cancer, Mars in Scorpio is trining your sun, and so is Neptune in Pisces. And that simply means that no matter what happens, including downsizing, I think you're going to have enough money to make a dream come true. And so whether you're thinking about the bigger picture and a larger corporation or a government policy, or whether you're just focusing in on your own special dream, I think the, the best way for you to go is to really follow your own star right now, Cancer, because I don't think you can go wrong with that. And also, I think you're going to be able to afford it. Whatever your dream is, I think there will be the, mon the money will be there for that. You can find a way to, uh, to solve a, any financial problems right now, but you can't do anything about any corporate decisions or government policy. That is way beyond your control, so don't worry about it. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? <clears throat> well, Leo, it's rather fortunate that both love planets are trining your sun sign. Lucky you, Leo. And that's because Uranus in Aries is trining your sun, and so are Venus and Saturn in Sagittarius. Remember I said that Sagittarius rules the higher mind, religion, philosophy, it rules higher education, and it rules foreign travel, international bodies, and uh, it rules the courts. And so this is a time when, uh, after a long delay, Leo, there could be an opportunity opening up for you, and it could arrive rather suddenly since Uranus is trining your sun. But it could be an opportunity to do something you've wanted to do for a very long time. And, and finally, that opportunity could come up now. And I think you ought to take advantage of it. If you hear of anything that you have been thinking about for quite a long time, I'd go for it if I were you, Leo, while the stars are with you. Because I, I, money isn't everything. However, you do have to look at costs because Mars in Scorpio is squaring your sun and will be next month as well. And so there can be a credit or a tax problem that has to be addressed. But there can also be a wonderful long delayed opportunity coming your way. And I think you would be very wise to take it if you can. OK, what does it mean to a Virgo? <clears throat> well, Virgo, this is a time when I think you're sitting pretty too. How could you not be? Jupiter is in your sign, and yes, it's retrograde, meaning that you have to go back and sort of take a look at the good things that are involved in your life and just make sure you've got them all in order right now, particularly any book work that has to do with income or expenses. But also, those four planets in Capricorn under the new moon were trining your sun. And that simply means the sun, new moon, Pluto, and Mercury, your own ruler, which is also retrograde, we're all trining your sun. And I think that that means that people are changing their minds in a, about a management situation. And they could be revising some sort of position that can turn out to be very favorable for you, Virgo. And that is good. So I think your stock is actually going up as people say to themselves, OK, we can't have a lot of duplication of efforts here, but we do want the best person. And that could be you, Virgo. So I think that your star is on the rise right now and that you really don't have too much to worry about, except the fact that Venus and Saturn in Sagittarius are squaring your sun. And that means you can't have everything. And it also means you might need to get a little bit more training, or you really will have to follow precise rules about uh, some sort of judgment right now. But on the whole, I would say that you, you are um, your career is looking very bright right now, Virgo, so I'd keep up the good work. All right, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra. This is a time when I think you might have it, uh, uh, when you won't have everything your own way. And the reason why is those four planets in Capricorn were all squaring your sun, and Uranus in Aries is opposing your sun sign. So that wild card I was talking about, which may indicate some sudden fluctuation in the financial markets having to do with credit or taxes or costs of some kind, that could throw a lot of people off, and I think it could really throw you off as well, Libra. So this is not a time when you should be doing a lot of spending. This is a time when you should really try to face facts and work on ways to cut your costs. Just because you may not be too sure about 
uh, some sort of future decisions that are beyond your control that are made by management in large corporations or in government agencies. So this is a time for you to be very cautious if you can, Libra, and really stick to the facts. There are no planets in the air signs, but so there's no way to be really creative right now. But it, this is a very good time to sort of keep your feet on the ground and sort of get your bills paid if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, Mars is in your sign right now, and it is sextiling your other ruler, Pluto, which is in Capricorn along with the Sun, New Moon, and Mercury as well. And Venus and Saturn are in Sagittarius right uh, between these signs, so there are um, seven planets all in a row within only three signs, and since Mars is in your sign and it rules it, you can be feeling very powerful right now. And on top of that, Scorpio, there are no planets in the other fixed signs. There is nothing squaring or opposing your sign. So I would caution you to be very disciplined right now. Try not to let your anger get a little bit ahead of you in, because your sign does rule war. Instead, really concentrate on the finances because this is a time when everyone needs to be much more cautious about anything financial. And that is because Capricorn is a cautious sign as well. But there can be problems in the financial markets right now, and that could be because of the higher cost of credit, or it can be because loans are being called in, or it can be because taxes can be going up. And so you would need to address all of those issues, but I think you could do that successfully right now, Scorpio. And as long as you remain disciplined and focused and channel your energy towards something productive, I think you're gonna do really well right now. And there could be a corporate decision that benefits you as well. So just remember, be patient and cautious along with everyone else. Don't get ahead of yourself. All right, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when you can have a firm but loving resolve to do the right thing, and that is because both Saturn and Venus are in your sign and they are closely conjuncting each other, and they're being trined by Uranus in Aries. So if this, this could be a time when at long last you make up your mind about sort of doing the right thing, and it can be that you decide to go in a new direction, but after very long thought about it. So if you're choosing a new career path right now, that may be a wise decision, Sagittarius, because the four planets in Capricorn were right ahead of your sun sign. So I think that you can see something that is rather secure, that represents security and stability. And it may not be your dream position, but if it allows you to accrue benefits over time, that could be a wise choice of yours. Or it can simply be that an opportunity opens up for something that you've always wanted. And so I would go for it right now. And do it while you can, Sagittarius, because soon Venus will leave and Mars will come into your sun sign, and that is a whole different story. That is going to mean trouble. So this is a time when you should try to sort of do whatever is best for you, Sagittarius, and something that is cautious and not at all risky. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, that fabulous new moon was in your sun sign, and that means that the sun, new moon, Pluto, and Mercury were all in your sun sign, and they were trining Jupiter in Virgo. And so that simply means that you probably are in a position to make a power play Capricorn, and you would do it very successfully right now, and it would be backed either by the courts, in other words, it would be something that the law is on your side, or it can simply be that um, people who are well-educated and uh, do know what they're doing approve of whatever plan you have in mind. Or it can be that they simply value you a great deal right now for your steady work effort. But really, Capricorn, what you need to think about is your long-term security and your health, because 
health care is expensive and also you need to be thinking about your investments and if there's any way for you to shave any expenses so that you can reduce them a little bit and downsize this would be a good time to do it just in order to be cautious so this is not a good time to spend money it's a good time to make sure that you've got all your allocations in the right spot and that you don't go overboard uh, particularly not on the spending side of anything so I think this is a fabulous new moon for you Capricorn and that you're really going to function quite well right now so any decisions you come to would be the right ones congratulations okay what does it mean to an Aquarian well Aquarius this is simply a time when one you need to be very careful about the money and that is because Mars which is very strong in Scorpio is squaring your Sun sign and the new moon Sun Pluto and Mercury were all in Capricorn right behind your sun sign. There's a whole bunch of planets behind your sun sign, actually, seven of them. And so I think that things are about to change for you, Aquarius, but they may not have changed quite yet. I do think that downsizing is imminent and that when people make some sort of corporate decision, it's going to be based just on the bottom line, not on personalities. And so there is the possibility that there can be some sort of change or transition transition that you will have to go through and at the same time there could be higher credit costs or higher taxes so this is a time Aquarius when you really need to think before you act and that is because your ruler Uranus is being very harshly squared by all the planets in Capricorn and for that reason I think that people are going to make judgments based on productivity a good education a great track record and if you don't qualify in all areas, you may be facing some sort of potential layoff or downsizing. So you just do need to be very, very careful right now, Aquarius, and uh, don't make any sudden moves because they might not be the right ones. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when I think you benefit greatly from the new moon in Capricorn because those four planets in Capricorn were sextiling your sun which means that when a power play is made in a large a corporation or a government agency, it might do you some good, Pisces. And that is because people are thinking of the bottom line. And they are thinking of people that they want to keep who are productive and who can substantiate or account for their activities. So if you are able to account for your work efforts or for your values or your experience, then you're gonna do just fine. If you can't account for them or if you haven't been doing your very, very finest, there is the possibility that there can be some downsizing around, but I don't think that it will necessarily affect you adversely. Uh, you just have to sort of go along with it, but uh, I don't think that it will be aimed at you, Pisces. So this is a time when you you should be a little bit careful, but at the same time, Mars in Scorpio is trining your sun, and that means there is the possibility of some additional money coming your way. And that could be to help you make a dream come true. So it's sort of a good news, bad news type of thing. If you've been doing your best, you have nothing to worry about. But if you haven't been doing your best, then you may be having to face some adjustments, but they may not be too drastic. All right, thanks for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show anytime you want by subscribing to it on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.